Hey gang, it's your pal Rob again, and welcome back to the playground. In today's video, we'll be taking a look at a new triptych. And of course, it deals with space. Yas! If you're a fan of these time lapse videos, please support the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Also, if you have some extra loot and would like to aid in my art supplies fund, you can become a patron by going to patreon.com slash Rob's Mental Playground. This piece is a little bit different because it abstracts some photographs I took of machinery that one of my friends had around his garage. It reminded me of spaceships and science fiction for whatever reason, so I incorporated them into this piece. All right, enough of the countdown. Let's hit that launch button and blast off. Come on. I've coated the paper in some gesso, so let's begin by masking off some areas for textural development. Masking tape and liquid mask, y'all know the drill by now. Once that's dry, I wet the surface of the paper and begin applying some color. Working on paper is interesting with thin paint, because as the paper wrinkles, the paint flows within the contours and makes for cool patterns and color mixing. I started with darker hues and progressively rotate my color choices as I build the color. I'm also using my breath to manipulate the paint, which I commonly do. After this is dry, I had another oopsie and somehow the recording was interrupted. I swear, one of these days I'll get it perfect, but I'm still learning. Let's remove this first round of masking and check our progress. This will also allow you to catch up on what I missed while recording. You can see where the droplets of liquid mask lived, and I'm excited about how the colors are interacting. I continue the piece by adding complementary dark and light colors, and I'm very mindful of how I'm controlling the paint in the upper left where a planet friend will soon live. Similar to other paintings I've done, I love trying to blend the planet shapes into the rest of the universe I'm creating. I don't know, I just dig how it looks. I continue layering color, moving to some more saturated hues, while also building the darker shades as well. I'm thickening the paint now, and I'm really focusing on creating interesting celestial organic shapes. It's time for one of my favorite things, creating a planet. I love seeing the paint transform over time. I forgo the masking on the outside of the piece, as I want some of the paint to continue leaking to the outside. It's an effect that I enjoy. I'm using lighter colors at this point, and keep maneuvering the medium around to create the shapes I want.
I want to add more depth to the planet, so I mask it off again and apply more paint to create a spherical effect. At certain points, I use a paper towel to remove some paint to blend the planet into our background. After removing the mask, I add some more thick, intense color to the piece, mindful to carefully try to blend the planet. I add a bit more color for highlights, and it's soon time to add the abstract machinery spaceships to finish this story. With some thick paint and loose brush strokes, I begin constructing some spacecraft. I want to keep it as loose as I can here because the object of this piece isn't architectural accuracy, but more a conceptual plaything. I want room for interpretation. You'll notice I'm using some pretty saturated, complementary colors here. I want some contrast in these final layers of paint. I finish off the piece with some splashes of white, as I often do. Here's the final product. It's pretty wild, and I'm really digging the color. What do you think? Would you want to travel the cosmos in these crazy interstellar craft? That'll do it for this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. You can always support my Patreon and other social media platforms by searching Rob's Mental Playground as always. Here's a couple other videos for you to check out as well. Thank you so much for visiting the playground, and please, be kind to each other.